Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And today we got the Bronco back in for some modifications. We're going to add a hammer built rear tire support bracket brace um, to the back of the tailgate. I'm um, getting some rattling off road and I'm starting to get a little worried that uh, eventually that 35 on the back is going to bend the tailgate. So we're going to get started and, and take the spare tire off. Um, I am ordering some larger wheels. Uh, so we're gonna need that space between the, the tailgate and the tire. Um, as you can formally see here, it's very tight and it's so close currently that I had to take the rubber isolator off to get that 31570 on the back of the Bronco. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take the spare tire off. So the next thing we have to do is go ahead and take this panel off. Uh, this panel is going to have three clips right here that you want to pull towards the vehicle. Go ahead and then snap those and it should pop right off. So the three clips are here and then when we put this back in, I'm going to put it at an angle and snap it back on. Are you still filming? All right, so you have to press a little um, button here to release the clip and that will pull right out. And then on this one, there's one right in the top. And there you have it. Both clips are out. And we're going to go ahead and push the retention piece out of the back. So what we're gonna go ahead and do now is take the bolts out. These are a 13 millimeter socket, and I'm gonna remove the spare tire holder. We're also gonna disassemble the third brake light and put on the new extension, and then get ready to put the brakes on. All right, we're gonna support the brace and go ahead and gently pull off. And there we have it, the third brake light assembly is off. And now we're gonna take this portion apart, add the new bracket, and then get ready to put on the brace. So to give it a little bit more room, what I did was I went ahead and removed some of the factory tape um, so we could get this extra height. From what I've seen that this can cause um, it to be too short um, this is taped all the way back here and you lose that extra height. So we're going to go ahead and unwrap some of this, uh, move some of this clip up and rewrap this with tape to get extra height. So we're going to go ahead and put the extension on. This is now a metal bracket. It does have uh, threaded holes. So you're just going to use the supplied hardware. That's a 13 millimeter socket. Uh, so uh, make sure that this goes towards the front and take one of your nuts with the bolts on there and run it through We're gonna do that two more times and tighten it up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put the top on. All right, and this is a lock washer. Let's see where we did with it. Make sure you get all your lock washers. I'm gonna grab an extension real quick.
Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and use a T45 and take the hinge bolts out. Uh, there's four of them across there. And then you can see I have some support uh, to hold the tailgate up um, since I am doing this by myself. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take those loose and get ready for the bracket. Okay, we have um, the spacers in there now. I just used a little bit of black electrical tape to hold them in because they do want to fall out. They're cone-shaped, uh, tapered side in. You're going to put that in first. And then, um, so what we're going to do is go ahead and grab the brace. Because the factory nuts had blue Loctite on them, I went ahead and just added some blue Loctite uh, to the supplied hardware for the hammer-built brace. And then I have one of the bolts up there uh, just so we can go ahead and tighten one of those in to hold it up um, up there in that corner um, while I go ahead and get everything situated. Okay, I've got the spare tire holder on there. Um, as you can see, all of the bolts are not in yet. Um, I have just a couple of them in there to get the alignment squared away, um, but the third brake light extension looks great. And I'm gonna go ahead and just go in a star pattern and bolt everything together. Now, what you also see is I ordered the spacer. Um, I have a fairly aggressive offset coming from this. So I wanna make sure that I had everything that I needed uh, for the kit for the installation. I may not need that when the wheels come in, um, but we will, see and we can always update a video to see if we needed that or not. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the roto pack mount. Um, as you can see, I have just two bolts holding that in. So I'm gonna go ahead, put the final two bolt bolts in and tighten that down. Um, I did decide to go ahead and take the spacer out just until I get the aftermarket wheel, uh, but I wanted to show what that would look like with that installed. So we're going to go ahead and put on the Rotoprac brace, and then we also have either the rear backup brace or the CB mount brace. So we're going to mount that up as well. Okay, there we have it. We have the rotor pack brace on with the antenna or rear mount light brace. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is um, get an antenna here and then um, put a backup light on this as well. Um, the reason why we're doing that is when we are off-roading um, on some of the trails in the summer, uh, they're quite dusty. So it'd be nice to have a little chase light back there. Um, also a backup light. Um, I have an overland trailer that uh, I'm building, so that would be nice to have a backup light that's strong enough to see that while I'm backing up. So let's go ahead and throw the tire on there and wrap up this install. Here we have it, the install is complete. Really happy with how this turned out. Um, as you can see, the third brake light's installed. Not gonna be rubbing on that tire anymore, making a lot of noise. Um, when I had my windows down, I could hear that third brake light kind of rubbing on the tire. Also, I was thinking that there was some flexing in that door as well. Uh, feels nice and solid now. Looks awesome. And we're gonna come up with some accessories to mount. Uh, don't think I'm gonna put roto packs on this, but I would like um, some other things that we're coming up with for when we're camping, over landing, and so forth. So uh, stay tuned for that build. I'm gonna be building a box back there uh, to carry using a rotor pack lock. Uh, so stay tuned for that. If you like this channel and uh, like what we do here, make sure to subscribe and share with your friends. And I'll post a link down below where you can purchase this for yourself.